Why can't we individualize care? I mean, you go to a restaurant and you, you're, you're allowed to order different things or not order anything if you don't want. But when you go to the doctor's office, you're not, you, you're not in charge of anything. They're telling you, here's what we're going to do next visit. And if you stop to say why, they may answer you or they may roll their eyes or they may give you some kind of bullshit answer. Well, that's just what we do. Yeah. It reminds me of the little kid who's a little annoying to his parents. And after a while, he keeps saying why. And after his parents, a while, his parents just say, because I said so. And that's not an answer. And either is, well, this is our hospital policy. Yeah. That's not an answer. That's a, that's a, a non sequitur. It's a, it's a non-responsive response. If you can uh, quote a legal term, it's unresponsive. You're not answering the question. You're, you're saying, well, here's why we have to do something. Well, but, but why are we doing, why is the hospital doing it? Mm. Why do they have a policy against eating? <laughs> During labor, <laughs> I mean, it's the dumbest right. thing in the world. I mean, things are changing, but they're changing randomly. I mean, mm. I've heard some very, I want to be come out with a very positive thing. I've heard some very good stories lately about isolated hospital here, isolated hospital in this country or that country. Yeah. But most of the, most of the time, you're not hearing those stories. 